Hey, hello! Uh, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelly and today um, it's the next installment of the project audiobook that I'm doing this year. Where to begin? So for this one as the title may suggest. Um, it's The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings trilogy. So The Fellowship of the Rings, The Two Towers and The Return of the King. As with all the previous audiobook listening parties, not really parties, but yeah, yeah. Um, I have read these physically before. The Hobbit uh, was always the like easy read. It's like everything happens at once it's i mean there's it's 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 a fairly long book in terms of what happens out of the four of these books the hobbit is the most easiest to read and it was the same listening to it honestly um i think i enjoyed the hobbit a lot more than i did the lord of the rings trilogy might partly be because it's so fast paced it's literally the lord of the rings is the it's technically one book but it's three books in terms of this um they are the same size each of those books are the same size as the hobbit and basically the hobbit is like the Lord of the Rings books are basically squished together to make The Hobbit. It's a very bad explanation, this, but that's kind of what it feels like. So, like, so much happening in the Lord of the Rings trilogy, but there's, but it's so spread out, so it's a bit slower paced. It's like you're walking a lot and nothing really happens. You don't really get anywhere very fast. <laughs> Whereas The Hobbit is very, there's a lot of walking around in that one too, but it's a lot more fast paced. So as far as listening to them, I listened to the Andy Serkis narration of, of all the books. And Chef's Kiss, yes. Um, it, it has to be the talent of Andy Serkis that he can do so many voices and he can, you know, get get you interested in in the story in that way. And also, I mean, he, he does play Gollum in the movie, so who better to play Gollum in the narration, in the audiobook narration as well. So, I mean, he, he does all the parts, but you get what I mean. Honestly amazing he does singing it's like <sighs> when he started singing i got emotional so emotional it was like yep yep it's happening it's happening <laughs> it was very dramatic on my part yeah no i did feel like I got through the Lord of the Rings trilogy a lot easier while listening to his narration, but um, I kind of felt the same about the story, about the plot, as I did while reading it physically. It's not that I don't like it, it's just that it's very slow <laughs> and uh, it, it can be a bit hard to read if you're not really into those very high fantasy kind of deals. I'm not really. I like it. I enjoy it, but it's so much from my head. I've got tiny brain, you know, tiny brain. My 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 head might be big, but my brain is tiny. <laughs> I would recommend listening to the Andy Serkis version of the audiobooks, definitely for sure. And I think if I were to do it all again, I would definitely listen to the Andy Serkis narration of the audiobooks because. It was a whole process. It, it, it was a journey. It was a journey and the fact that he's so talented at making you believe that it's not just one guy narrating the whole thing, but that you think there's so many different people that's just jumping in and there. It's, it's like a whole cast of people, but it's, it's just one person. That's when you know it's good narration yes <laughs> so 
that is more or less all I wanted to say about that. Um, I mean, I, I could probably go on forever, but <laughs> nobody wants to listen to that. So, yes, I enjoyed it very much. And um, thank you so much for watching. I shall see you all uh, next time. Ataka, bye-bye.